Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how big is three, five arrows, three. So remember, G1 of Graham's number is three, four arrows, three. So this is one more arrow than G1. So if you have already know what G1 is, is, you know, G1 itself is already unimaginably big. In fact, just three with three arrows, three is already extremely, extremely big. So how big would five arrows be? Could you ever imagine or visualize it using Power Tower? So let's find out in this video. So first of all, let's start from one arrow all the way to five arrows. So again, it kind of a quick revision. So three arrow three it just equals to 3 to the power 3, which is 27, very simple. And 3 double arrow 3 is equal to 3 arrow 3 arrow 3, which is 3 arrow 27, which is 3 to the power 27, which is around 7.6 trillion. And 3 triple arrow 3 is 3 double arrow 3 double arrow 3, which is 3 double arrow of around 7.6 trillion which is a power tower of three with 7.6 trillion levels high. So, so far, so good. Again, this number is already way, way, way bigger than Google, Google Plex, or even Google Plex, 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 or even the biggest number in physics. So this is already off the scale, off the chart. But now let's look at three, four arrows three, which is again G1. This is unimaginably bigger than three, triple arrow three. So this one, you can break it down. It becomes three, triple arrow three, triple arrow three, which is equal to three, triple arrow of this big number over here. And if usually, you know, if you want to break it further down to double arrows, which is, you know, double arrow means power tower. So it becomes three double arrow of three double arrow three double arrow three double arrow three blah 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 for three triple arrow three number of threes. So again you just take one arrow away and then the ending number over here will be the number of threes over here. That's why this is your answer. So if you want to represent this number G1 in terms of power tower, it looks something like this. So again, it looks kind of complicated, but I think if you study big numbers, you can still understand this. But was, I would say most people get three, four arrows three wrong. I mean, many videos online get it wrong, even number file or some other people's video. So that's why a lot of people still get confused or most of the time they underestimate this number. So again, this is... Uh, G1, three, four arrows, three. So first of all, um, you kind of start from here. So three arrow, three arrow, three. This is of course three double arrow, three, which is this, the first term over here, right? You start from the right to the left. So this is the first term over here. And then the second term would be three double arrow of that, which means a power tower of that high. That's why the next term would be three arrow, three arrow, three. Again, three arrow something means three to the power three to the power three. It's just a power tower with this high. And then the next one will be a power tower of this high. And you continue for three triple arrow three number of times, which is this one. This number here is three triple arrow three. It's very easy to understand. Is just um, this is a power tower with three triple arrow three. I mean three arrow three arrow three number of threes, and this is of course seven point six trillion. So that's why this number is three triple arrow three, and the number of towers over here is three triple arrow three. So therefore, this whole thing here represents three four arrows three. So and already it looks kind of complicated. And I think most people cannot write this down or understand it right away. But I mean, if you take some time, you can pause the video, you can understand this. But now the million dollar question or the three, five arrows, three dollar question. So how big is this number? Again, this is already complicated. So five arrows, three, if you break it down, it becomes three, four arrows, three, four arrows, three. 
and then if you break it down into three arrows or triple arrows it becomes three triple arrow three triple arrow three triple arrow three blah 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 for three four arrows three number of threes so very simple same rule so basically i'm just gonna show you it looks like this so this thing over here as you can see is much much bigger than this thing over here and much more complicated you know it even take me quite some time to figure this out or to draw this out you know a lot of threes and arrows so first of all of course you have to start from the right to the left so this would be your first calculation so three triple arrow three which is this over here i mean i already explained here this number is three triple arrow three and this is a power tower with 7.6 trillion threes high so this is your first term right three triple arrow three the next term would be three triple arrow of three triple arrow three which is of course three four arrows three which is this thing over here as i already show you so this would be your next term and then the next one is just repeated you know it looks something like this but with these many terms with this many levels basically and then you continue uh, this process for three, four arrows, three number of times. So that's why. Um, and this this thing over here is three, four arrows, three. As I explained here already, you just, I just copy this thing over here. So that's why this thing represents three, five arrows, three. It's basically you repeat this thing for three four arrows three number of times so it's kind of like towers of towers of towers and towers so basically pretty ridiculous and feel free to pause the video to try to understand this and the last thing is that now try imagine six arrows so three six arrows three imagine what it would look like one hint is that it will look way 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 messier than this one that you know it would take even much much more time and planning to draw that out so anyway this is how big or how you would visualize three five arrows three in terms of power tower it's a very big number i think most people underestimate it i mean a lot of people already underestimate three triple arrow three i think so anyway, it kind of blows your mind. Um, I will see if I will make a video on three six arrows three. But anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.